Oh! Oh, he's done it, man! He's done it! Oh, man. Well done. You're watching TSC with the latest news from the world of clay shooting. Team GB shooting coach Joe Neville was presented with an MBE at Buckingham Palace in recognition of his contribution to the sport. Joe won Commonwealth gold at Skeet in the 1970s and came fourth in the Skeet event at the 1972 Olympic Games. That's still the highest position ever achieved by a British athlete in the discipline. He also won the British Grand Prix in the 1960s, 70s, 80s and 90s and was still winning as a veteran in the 2000s. Now he's retired from competitive shooting and he devotes his time to bringing on the next generation of shooters. He's been coaching Amber Hill in the run-up to the Olympic Games in Rio. Britain's most recent Olympic shooting gold medalists have been trying out the gun used by the late Bob Braithwaite to win Britain's first ever Olympic shooting gold. Richard Folds, who won his medal in 2000, and London 2012 medalist Peter Wilson got together with the shooting press at Richard's Owls Lodge shooting ground earlier today. They were shooting Bob Braithwaite's C-grade Browning trap gun, which he used to win his gold at the 1968 Mexico Olympics. They also tried out a special edition Browning that was presented to Bob in recognition of his achievement. Bob died last year at the age of 89, and his guns are due to be sold in London on the 30th of June by Holtz Auctioneers. Each one is expected to make between £7,000 and £9,000. Are you going to the Oxford Festival of Shooting in a couple of weeks' time? It's at the Oxford Gun Company on Saturday the 4th of June, and it's got all the ingredients of a great day out for shooters and their families. The festival will be like a mini game fair, with a sporting competition, activities, stalls and trade stands. There's the chance to have a go at archery, axe throwing, air guns and clay pigeon shooting, with plenty of activities for everyone, a bungee run and a bouncy castle. Plus, there'll be loads of great guns on display, including Browning, Holland & Holland, and Cogswell and & Harrison. And you can meet the people behind the game fair at Ragley Hall, plus Stratstone, Ely, and many more. Put that date in your diary now, Saturday the 4th of June, and find out more at oxfordguncompany.co.uk. Talking of the Oxford Gun Company, did you know they're now doing monthly 100 bird down the line competitions. The next one's on Saturday the 28th of May with cash and cartridge prizes to be won and there's a discount on the entry fee for members. To book your place, call Daisy on 01844 238 308 or email daisy at oxfordguncompany.co.uk And finally, here's our weekly pick of the clay shooting videos on YouTube. Field Sports Channel have been to Rio to film the GB shooting team at the ISSF test event. It's narrated by London 2012 gold medalist Peter Wilson and gives a real flavor of what to expect at the Olympic Games in August. And there are interviews with GB shooting team manager Phil Scanlon, as well as some of the shooters like Amber Hill and Tim Neal. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. We're always keen to hear from our viewers with news and ideas for this channel. Leave a comment below or drop me a line, james at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. And do please support the sponsors who make this channel possible. We've got a new sponsor, the Ribeye Mounting Aid. It's basically a mirror that lets you see for yourself how your eye is aligned with the rib. More about that in a future program. Meanwhile, you can find links to the Ribeye website and all our other sponsors on the TSC website, theschoolschallenge.co.uk.